everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Shannon and over on this channel we do all sorts of travel, lifestyle and haul style videos. And obviously I'm cabin crew. I've done it for a year already. I've just been signed off for about five months. But I finally got a start date to go back. So I'm really excited. I'll be travelling the world again soon. So today we're prepping to go back to work. So I have already done all of my shopping. I did that in one of my more recent videos. It's a really good video actually. I spent the whole day with my sister shopping all sorts of cabin crew essentials. So go ahead and check that video out. However, today I need to start putting that all together and packing my stuff. So that means packing my bag, my topper and my suitcase. And I'm going to take you along with me, show you the sort of things that I put in my bags. But yeah, first of all, I need to do some unboxing because I bought myself a new suitcase. Here she is. I'm so excited to open this. So obviously being cabin crew, I need a cabin size suitcase, more so than any other suitcase size. And my last one broke. If you saw in the last video, you would have seen me try to get the handle up and also Kaylee tried and it is not going anywhere. So the first thing I needed to do was make sure I had a new suitcase and I got one. I'm just trying to look up the size that I'm allowed. So the cabin size suitcase I'm allowed is up to 56 centimeters times 45 times 25 centimeters so that's the biggest i can get and most places don't do that size they either do bigger or smaller and obviously being cabin crew you sort of have a little bit of leeway either side they're not too strict on it as far as i am aware anyway that's in my experience but obviously i wanted a suitcase that i know that i can use as cabin crew but also i can use it when i do my own travels and i won't need to then get a new suitcase for when i'm not traveling as crew so i wanted to get one that fit most airlines and this one seems to do the trick i did look everywhere i looked at trip i looked at away cases but who has the money for that that is an investment <laughs> <laughs> and with my current situation I could not afford weight cases I looked on Amazon as well and a few others and I also went into like Primark and Matalan and things like that to try and find the right size and I just wanted to find a size suitcase that would be the absolute maximum that I can have because it is so hard to pack up your life in a tiny suitcase like that and you never want to check a bag in because it's just the most inconvenient thing which i will explain in another video but your cabin size suitcase if you're going to be cabin crew is your absolute best friend so i wanted to get the biggest size i could possibly get and i found one on it luggage i don't know if you pronounce it it luggage or it luggage but i got this one so i'm gonna open this box up and see if she's just as cute as she was online i wish i was one of those people that had one of those cute little cutting things to open in their boxes and packages and have a really cute unboxing video but i don't have one of those so we're using my house key jeez <laughs> oh i'm gonna put it up here so you can see it <laughs> <laughs> oh this is the suitcase that i got the range name is spontaneous with obviously it luggage it luggage I don't know which one it is. And the dimensions, the exterior dimensions are 55.5. So that is the biggest I could get. I couldn't find any that were 56 times 38 centimeters wide, which the most I could have was 45. I think the best I found was 39 or 40, but the next dimension was even smaller. And then it's also 25 centimeters depth. So that's the maximum I could have as well. So I thought that was really good. Also, she's expandable, which gives you an extra 6.4 centimeters. So I was really happy with that. It weighs 3.3 kilograms apparently, and the packing capacity is 57 liters. So a lot bigger than my last one. We're gonna look inside in a minute, but the exterior of this is really, really good. So it's just a very plain design. And it also has this little contraption on the side. What do you even call that? Oh, hold on. Combination lock. There you go. From looking at it like this, I'm really happy. It's really sturdy. It's a really good material. It's really smart as well. So obviously it has a handle on the side and a handle on the top. Yay. There she is. So nice. I love it. Look at those for zips. Can you see those? Jeez, there's some real contraptions. Oh, hold on a minute. Oh, they go in there. Do you see where the combination is? And they lock in place there. Smart. I can already tell that this is so much better than my last suitcase. I'm going to show you the inside. 
so you can see properly. So this is the inside of the suitcase. Obviously on this side you've got the straps to tie everything together. And then in this side, there's this extra little flap. That side seems even deeper than that side, so that looks really good to me. And then obviously there's extra little bits you can put in here. There's also a little name tag. I'll switch it around so you can see. So there's the brand in there, and then here it's like a little extra name tag where you can add in your name and phone number and your email. But that all looks really good, and obviously you can expand it. So I don't actually know how that works to be fair let me figure it out okay i found it i don't know how easy this is going to be to show you but obviously you have these two interesting shaped zips that are your normal zips that clip into the combination lock to lock it all up and then this middle section this is the third zip here if you shut that all the way around then that is the suitcase as normal however if you unzip it all the way like i did so it's unzipped all the way around that gives you your extra 6.4 centimeters when it's expanded so price wise with this suitcase i got this direct through the it luggage website it was originally 60 pounds for the suitcase which i think is actually a really good price anyway and then it was about 2.99 for like standard delivery however what i always tend to do when i go to check out somewhere is I'll Google like some voucher codes and I signed up to the Sun newsletter which gets you loads of voucher codes so I recommend doing that by the way and there was a there was a few on there but one that managed to work for me was a 20% off voucher so I got that and I was able to apply it which meant that the suitcase itself only cost 48 pounds and I ended up spending 50 pounds and 99p overall so got a nice little save in there but honestly i would have paid the 60 if i couldn't find a voucher i was set on getting this suitcase anyway because it was the best i was able to find but every little helps also with it luggage you get 10 years warranty as well on that i know that you get that on quite a lot of suitcase brands i know trip do a warranty i can't remember how long it is for and also with away cases the that expensive one i was talking about i think it's like lifetime warranty with away cases which makes sense because their suitcases are so so expensive but they are so so good but like i said they're an investment which i am not prepared to do right now maybe one day i'll treat myself but i don't think i'm gonna need to for a while i'm really happy with my suitcase so new suitcase checked i'm really happy with that actually the expandable bit definitely takes it over the measurements that i'm allowed but like i said with crew this is not a definite but from my experience and from like co-workers experience you've got quite a little bit of leeway as to the luggage that you can bring. They don't like measure your suitcase and things like that basically. But obviously they have to be able to fit through security. But yeah, really happy with that suitcase. So now it's just about packing it. So when I pack my suitcase, there's a few things that stay in there all the time, they never leave. And there's some things that come out and change depending on obviously which destination I'm going to and for how long. But yeah, there are some things that will stay in there all of the time. So I'm gonna start packing those things so that they're ready to go. I'll be able to add the last little bits when I know which trip i'm going on first so i've got to brave the pack in now so i cleared out all my other bags the other day this is my regular handbag and my topper I cleared all of that out of all the rubbish that was still left in it so basically i just need to get everything out onto my bed and start packing it all i still got some bits in the wash so i'm waiting for that to be done and then i can completely pack all of my stuff but i've just laid out everything that is already ready on my bed ready to go it's basically just all the stuff that constantly stays in my suitcase or in my bags or anything the only reason it would come out is to wash it and then it'll go straight back in so those bits i can start packing now but obviously i don't know what my first flight is so i can't pack the rest of it but i do have some other bits i need to do today i need to get my crew device and go through some of the notices on there there's going to be loads because it's been so long since i've been at work and I don't know if they're going to put me on any training. I haven't got a roster yet, so I might just assign myself some bits just to go over some of the stuff, have a little refresh. I know as soon as I get on the plane, it's going to be completely fine. I'm going to know everything, but it's just the little little extra details, more about the emergency procedures and stuff that I'd just like to go over for my own sanity. But first, I've just remembered that I have a nail appointment that I need to go to. If I don't go now, I'm going to be late. So it's time to have a little refresh. These are actually the last set that are going to have any design on them to so take a good look. Cute little flowers and everything, these ones, but for work, I can't have anything like that. I can only have it plain one colour or French. So I think I'm going to go for French. So say goodbye to the pretty nails. They're obviously still going to be pretty, but it makes me so sad that I can't have a design on my nails. But it is what it is. So I'm going to go get my first back to work nail set done. <laughs> and then I'll crack on with the rest of the stuff after. Boom. Say hello to the new nails. How cute are they? I was going to go for French, but she just got loads of new colours in and lots of them are really pastel colours. And this is like a really pastel kind of green how gorgeous is this nail color i'm obsessed 
obsessed so i just had to get this instead and i feel like it matches quite nicely with the spring vibes so they're the nails that we went with so we've got the work nails ready i've got lots of things i need to do actually i need to go and put a wash on i don't know why i just sat down because i need to go and put a wash on I've got a few things that need to go in the suitcases that I need to wash first. I've done most of it. I am going to show you what I've put inside my bags. They're not really in their right place, but it's a lot of the stuff that I just keep in the bags all the time, if that makes sense. I need to go shopping as well. I thought I'd bought everything, but turns out I haven't. I've got loads of things I need to get because a lot of the time, just for peace of mind, I need to buy two of everything that I use because then I can have one here and then one already packed and ready to go and then i don't need to constantly keep moving things around in my bag so yeah i need to do shopping i'm not going to do that today i think i'm going to do that over the weekend but what i'm going to do is sort some washing out and show you what's already in my suitcases so i'm going to do all of that now i've got a few other things i need to do as well but i'm going to do all of that stuff first just crack down on my floor to show you what's in my bags so when i go on trips i literally take my suitcase a topper to sit on top of the suitcase that was really loud sorry and then my handbag so in my main bag i have my cardigan and my apron just because i use them throughout the flight all the time they just on and off and on and off i also keep a little wallet in here it's got like really important documents in there so like my certificate for my yellow fever jab my passport sometimes i'll keep some money in there things like that so that always stays in there obviously i've got my id for work and i've also got my crew device which is currently upstairs on charge but that usually stays in here obviously i also added my little let the adventure begin travel journal i'm gonna want to fill this in so i just kept this in here this could probably go in my top or anywhere else to be honest with you but i just put it in here for now in my hand bag i also keep spare uniform and spare underwear in here just in case i end up staying down route when i'm not meant to say for example it's meant to be a there and back and there's a delay which means we can't then come back and we have to night stop i then need some spare underwear and some spare uniform for the next day i've also got i need to find a little bag for it but i don't keep my liquids in here i keep my liquids in my topper just because then everything that needs to come out during security is in my topper so like all of my electronics and stuff i know it's all in one place but i need to get like a little tiny bag for my night stop liquids because this has just got like a lip balm a moisturizer and like a toothbrush and toothpaste it actually came from the little packet that the business class seats get so i need to get a little bag for that because then i'll keep that in my handbag for when i do night stops as a just in case if i need anything i've got lots of pens in here i've got nail files and extra hair bands and stuff in here basically this is my essentials and in case of a night stop kind of bag so all my there and back so i only need to take that handbag and it's fit for emergency stops and things like that as well so that's sort of what goes in there there is other stuff but i haven't got that set right now in my topper this is my topper i got this from trip and it's very old and it's not actually that great to be honest with you because even though it's really big it's not got any sort of zipper pockets or anything there's one zipper on the inside here but it's not very helpful with this bag i don't even know what bag this is but it, i actually realized that it's breaking i don't know if you noticed but it's, it's very much breaking but this is actually for any future cabin crew members out there this is a little insert like a little bag organizer because these bags don't come with anything like the only pocket i get is like this tiny pocket on the inside there's nothing else in here for specific space so i would just have things flung about everywhere in this bag so i bought a little organizer and it actually helps so much really ideal to get one of those but i don't have one for my topper which means everything's a bit of a free for all in here but the things that stick in here is like a lunch box i've got like a little lunch box in here i've also got my main liquids bag in here i also keep my laptop in here if i for any reason know that i'm going to do any editing down room i always fit it inside this bag along with any other electronics so like my polaroid camera always has to come out at security my switch sometimes i take my switch with me so that always has to come out at security and depending on where you go i know manchester is really really awful sometimes you have to like take out your portable chargers and stuff and like loads of plugs and things it's just crazy so i tend to keep a little bag like this and that's got like all of my adapters plugs chargers all of that i'll keep that in here so anything i need to take out security is all in the one bag and i don't need to faff about basically at the minute i have like my makeup as well and my medical kit and stuff but none of that really needs to be in here that can all go in my suitcase another thing that i have with me is this little package that is where all those little minis came from that i have in my handbag and it comes with little fluffy socks and like an eye mask and stuff so i just keep that without the liquids obviously in it 
in here because they come in really handy for bunk rest. I'll also fit these into my topper or my handbag. They'll just sort of sit on top because I'm constantly taking these out. These are my cabin shoes and also my terminal shoes. Not that we even need two pairs of shoes anymore, but... I have two anyway. And then everything else just goes in my suitcase. This is sort of how I would pack for a standby flight. If, for example, I don't really know where I'm going. These are the sort of things that I would just have packed all the time. Obviously, if I know I'm going somewhere that there's not going to be any rain, for example, I'm not going to take my rain jacket, but just so you can see. I've got my raincoat in here. I've got a little bikini, a little swimming costume because I'll usually go in the pull down route. I've got the same pair of like crappy pajamas that I will always keep in here that will just come out, get washed and go straight back in. And this is also one of Ryan's old t-shirts. So I prefer to take that with me. I also have gym clothes that I always take with me, but at the minute everything else is in the wash. I've just got some gym leggings in here. And then I always, always, always have in here a pair of flip flops. These are classic Bannatine spa flip flops. I don't even know how I picked these up. And then just a pair of old trainers. Wow, they're actually gross. Sorry about that. Because this suitcase is a lot bigger than my other one, I know that I can fit a lot more in here, which is really good. So I'll probably update a lot of the stuff that stays in these suitcases. But for now, that's all that's in here. It's not in any way packed in any shape or form because obviously it's it's not packed ready for a flight yet. So there's no point in me even showing you what it looks like because it is just a bit of a free for all. <laughs> Another thing that I will pack in here, which is something I picked up from somebody on TikTok, is a formal outfit. Let me tilt you down. I can see you better now. And the reason for that is because something can happen down route that means I would need to position back. What positioning is, is just being a passenger back basically. And that could be I need to come home earlier for some reason. I need to come home on a later flight for some reason. I've got ill down route, so then I can't work. So I need to be a passenger on the way home. And for that, you need to wear something relatively smart. You can't do that in joggers or anything. And if you haven't got a relatively smart outfit, they'll make you wear your uniform. And that is one of the most uncomfortable things in the world. I've heard, I've never actually had the pleasure of positioning back on a flight yet. I'm sure I'll find out. But for that reason, I'm gonna pack something that's relatively smart maybe just like a blouse and some smart trousers and if you saw my Polara haul I got some work trousers in there and I thought that I would never have a reason to wear them and I think I've just found my reason there's this black pair that are really lightweight and I think they'll work really really well and because they're so thin they'll be able to fold up really nicely and fit in here without taking up too much space so I'm definitely gonna do something like that and that'll be another thing that will always stay in my suitcases. I will do that, but they are currently being washed. I just wanted to give you an idea of sort of what I pack in my bags and what goes where and why. And I hope that that makes sense for any of you that are gonna be crew in the future. If you want me to go into more detail on them, I can do videos on them for sure. But I just thought I'd do a little brief of what goes in my suitcases. So I'm basically packed now, which makes me feel a lot better. Another thing that I could do is sort my uniform out, but there's no point really doing that until right at the last minute, because all I'm gonna do is iron it, and then I'm gonna squish it back into a wardrobe anyway. So it's probably just gonna get creases again so i'll do that closer to my first flight whenever that might be another thing that i need to do is go through my work device to see all of the notices that would have come up within the last five months and there's probably a lot of them and oh there's old pictures on here from my training course and stuff can i show you any of these i literally haven't got this phone out in ages oh wow that's a really bad picture but i can't really show you the uniform but that's me <laughs> in the flight deck with the little headpiece on that's so funny there's another picture of me sorry the window's reflecting off it that's really bad that was me in my um training course we were trying out some of the food and stuff from the business class so many screenshots of old flights as well what a time eh i'm actually so excited to go back i'm freaking out a little bit but i'm excited i just feel like i'm so out of my depths and everyone keeps saying as soon as you get on the plane you'll remember everything and you'll be fine and i know that that is true i do know that that's true but it's just so scary like that first drive back up to heathrow is going to be terrifying and then my first briefing i'm going to be like hi i've not been at work for like five months please be nice to me <laughs> oh god as if it's actually been five months now my last flight was my trip to rio i think that was like the 19th of october or something and then my first flight again unless they give me training like i said will be on like the 8th of april but we'll have to see again like i said i don't know if they 
they're going to give me any training. Okay, right, I'm just getting my laptop up because I'm going to try and see if there's any training that I can give myself. What I got my phone out for was to check the notices and I'm actually too nervous to go on there. My phone is fully freaking out because it's not done anything for five months. 60 updates. This phone's literally going to have a mental breakdown. I have 18. I have 18 notices to look at. That's actually nowhere near as bad as what I thought it was going to be. I'm just going to log in and see if there's any training that I can give myself. I have no recommendations at this time. Well, probably should. Maybe I'll have to ask the Facebook pages. We've got some Facebook pages for loads of questions for our work. So maybe I could ask on there. I just can't imagine them sending me back without doing any training. But I think the timing for training is 180 days. And mine is just below that. So whenever we get into our briefing room, they ask us, have you flown on this aircraft within the last 180 days and if the answer is no which it should never be because it would have been checked before that anyway it then means you can't fly without having a refresher course and 180 days is basically six months right and i'm just below that i'm gonna ask on the facebook pages i put hello i have just recently been on long time sickness for five months and will be returning to work in april i wouldn't have quite reached the 180 days but does anybody know the likelihood of me being rostered any training just trying to get an idea of what to expect when i come back i think that's good let's post it let's see throughout the day if anyone tells me if i'm gonna get any training i would have my recurrent coming up soon anyway and recurrent training is just basically a refresher course every year that you have to do maybe they'll just put me in for my recurrent a little bit earlier potentially that could be quite good actually because then i'm killing two birds one stone i don't know it's all very complicated anyway that's that. I'm going to see if anyone comes back to me. But in the meantime, I'm going to look at some of these OMNs. I might put the fifth Harry Potter film on and sit and go through some of these notices. I guess I'll catch up with you in a bit and let you know if anyone said anything. So, oh god, I sunk right into that sofa. Somebody came back to me and I think I might just get my recurrent. So somebody has just said that they've been off for a very similar amount of time to me. They came back at the beginning of this month and they had their last recurrent back in May. Mine was in June. So I'm in a very similar situation to her. And she said she just got her recurrent training. And the recurrent training is what I said we get every year anyway. So I'm thinking maybe I might just have that rostered first thing. So that's good to know. I know that that's only two or three days of training I think so that would be a nice little refresher so what I might do is just go over some practice exams or something just to prepare me for that which is what I would do anyway which means I'll be familiarizing myself with all the terms and stuff saying that though I think I just did that by looking at my notices I went through them all I didn't expect to go through them that quickly I don't even know if I said what the notices are what I mean by the notices is it's just a way of the company letting us know about things that might have changed and they all go onto this little app that we've got so I just have to read and sign them basically. So I've done that now. There's not been too many changes to be fair. There's been a few changes with like the onboard announcements and the order in which we do the demonstration. I'm gonna have to do a couple of practices of that to get myself used to that because I'm so used to doing it the original way. But apart from that, everything's done. I feel a lot better now. I've packed all of my bags or what I could pack so far and they're all in the corner of the living room. <laughs> this is my little spot for them. Dad's not too happy about it to be honest, but um, that's kind of where they live every time i get back from a flight they always go back here as well so this is like shannon's little flight bag section so yeah everything's in order it seems i'm gonna obviously get a few more bits off of the washing line once they're done and pack them but apart from that all i really need to do now is do a little bit of training like i said and then obviously when i find out my first flight i'll be able to pack my bags properly i also need to iron my uniform and then i just need to do one last shop where i can get like a second eyebrow pencil and a second concealer and stuff like that so that i've got two of everything so i don't have to keep repacking my suitcase but apart from that i'm all set and i feel a lot better now <gasps> there's a three-legged cat outside my window hi gorgeous we have so many cats that come to see us but this one's never come to see us before and i always see it down our road hi angel how are you you are gorgeous you look quite angry actually i'm a bit scared of you can you see this little guy hi hello Sorry, I just really had to go and say hello to that cat. I always see that three-legged cat 
down my road and we have a black cat that always comes and says hello to us if you watch my channel all the time then you would have met mavis i always see them outside the window oh so cute i think he was a bit nervous though anyway that's enough cat talk back onto the work talk i feel prepped and good to go i won't get my roster until maybe quite a way into the first week of april so i won't be able to post like a roster reveal or anything but hopefully you'll get a nice roster reveal for may but yeah i'm just looking forward to seeing a roster and having a plan of what i'm gonna do part of me is really hoping i go to some nice places part of me is hoping I don't because I don't actually have the money to spend out there at the minute I don't know we'll see what we get but anyway I'm gonna go and spend the rest of the day actually I'm gonna go and watch Hamilton on Disney Plus because today that I'm filming this is World Theatre Day and I've been singing the songs on Spotify whilst I've been doing my washing and stuff so yeah but that is me for this video I'll make sure to keep you updated with everything that goes on with work but thank you guys so much for watching remember to like and subscribe and I will see you soon in my next one bye